ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በ6 ስቶር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ ጉድ አፍተርኑን ጋይስ ጉድ አፍተርኑን ቸሪሳ ማልቀጥ አይ ካንት አክሰስ ዩር voice anyway if you properly hear, hear me let me continue um, from the point where we stopped last time last time we have discussed the major issues related to the drainage systems of ethiopia as you all know it is basically that as the mountainous nation in Horn Africa because of its geologic um, formation uh, particularly following the recent Mesozoic and Cenozoic um, eras there were diverse geologic processes that took place over our home Ethiopia and the whole of Africa in general, uh, particularly in the Cenozoic era, uh, in the first Cenozoic era, as you remembered, there was a very big geologic event um, that resulted the uplifting of the immediate of um, Ethiopian landmass mainly the central and northern part of the country. As a result of this geologic um, uplifting, Ethiopia has got um, rising, I mean, uplifted and mountainous relief structure. Because of this natural relief arrangement or structure, Uh, the majority of which is mountainous. It experiences moderate and cooler temperature in all these um, hey, areas. Hey, this moderate and cooler temperature uh, results in um, Ethiopia to host um, yes, diverse uh, streams, So the areas, marshy areas, and so forth. The question that this chapter uh, is providing to us is a time to switch this reverse flow. Where are the directions of flowing of this reverse? Wherever the point of origin regardless of the source of rivers and streams. Our focus in this chapter is the direction of flowing of rivers. Is it the direction of uh, the flowing river? Ethiopia has about three systems, drainage systems. Okay. As you all know, all rivers, all flowing water has sources, has courses and destinations too. Where is the point of origin? Where is the destination of this flowing reverse? So on and so forth. When issues that we have discussed last time, as a result, the issues we have discussed so far are like the Western drain system. This drain system Um, as made by rivers 
originated from the Western Highlands of Ethiopia and flow towards the Western part of Ethiopia. Remember, we have also discussed the Eastern and Southeastern drain system. That system uh, is made by rivers, streams, uh, suppliers, so on and so forth, together and individually. Uh, all those rivers originated from the eastern highlands and flowed from the eastern direction of the country, resulted or created or formed the eastern drain system. The question I have here is that which rivers formed which system, number one. Number two, which rivers drain which part of Ethiopia? Which rivers are originated from which part of the country? Okay, we have to respond to these basic questions. We have to know at least the sources of our major rivers. Okay, like a Bay River like the Kazi River, like Baro, okay, Mabishamili, Gernali, Awash, okay. Um, we have to also know the um, destinations of each river, at least, the major rivers. If possible, we have to okay, uh, further investigate the minor rivers too, because knowing the source and mouth of all these rivers helps us put a very strong decision in our future uh, business. Okay. Okay. Our today's knowledge will help us. Um, at least put a very influential decision on our future business. Today, let's look at the Rift Valley drain system. Okay. I'm sure you know very much about the Rift Valley uh, physiographic region. Uh, that region has something unique because geologically, this region is a very um, active region where active volcanic eruptions are still taking place, where landslide is common, where earthquake um, emission of liquid, molten materials from within, so and so forth are Common events. As a result, a relatively this region is an instable region. Okay. Or oh, simply, the region is a very hostile region, an instable region, a very volatile region, dynamic region. Okay. Uh, than the eastern and western physiographic region. Because of the nature of that that particular zone. Okay, internal forces are very actively uh, operating there. Okay, uh, internal forces are frequently okay uh, acting on that particular region than the other parts of Ethiopia. As a result, this region is something unique than than the Eastern and the Western geographic division of the country. Following this uniqueness, what about the water resource of this region? What about the drainage uh, attributes of, of uh, this particular region look like? Okay. Don't forget the slope of this volatile region. Don't forget the structure of this volatile region. Um, particularly the affair triangle. Um, these are other tips of uh, the Rift Valley region and even the Lakes region. Okay. Having that mental picture 
uh, let's look at the drainage characters of uh, the Rift Valley system. The region is characterized by small amount of rainfall, but very high evaporation, and the region hosts rivers of small and smaller catchment areas, smaller water volume, or very little water volume. Because the region is very, very desert region, uh, the region experiences very high amount of um, I mean, temperature or most of the year. The region experiences um, a very extremely high amount of temperature and the region is very low land. Okay? The majority of uh, the Rift Valley region is um, below 500 meter. Okay? Because of that natural uh, formation, which is lowland, you knew um, what kind of temperature, what kind of rainfall that lowland region experiences, a significant amount of rainfall, but very high amount of temperature. Because of this extreme low amount of rainfall or no rainfall at all, there is no, it's possible to say, there is no that, that much significant flowing water on this uh, region. The size of the system in general, the drainage area, in general, um, is smaller than the eastern drain system and the western drain system. This is mainly because of, of uh, the nature of that Rift Valley geographic region, which is limited by nature. Okay. Um, even though rain is insignificant in that region, it's impossible to say that the region has no water. The region has water in the form of lakes, in the form of uh, uh, flowing water uh, with a okay, smaller amount of volume of water. Um, the region has also marshy or swampy areas, particularly in the uh, depressed lowland uh, gorge areas. But this flowing water or accumulated stored water has no well-defined flowing direction. Okay, unlike the Western Drain System and the Eastern Drain System, this system has no well defined flowing direction. Okay, Fly, uh, uh, probably the flood or streams or rivers originated from this zone, the Rift Valley Drain System, uh, particularly in the higher grounds, flow towards almost all directions because of the nature of the landfall, because of the nature of uh, the structure of that particular region. Okay. Um, if you remember, the eastern geographic region allows rivers flow towards the eastern part of Ethiopia. The western relief structure allows rivers flow towards the western part of Ethiopia because of slope of uh, the land. That here the Rift Valley physiographic region uh, did not have a such um, well identified, clearly um, uh, defined flowing direction. As a result, streams flow in almost all um, directions. Well, this drain system has also. Um, Drainage basins or river basins. Okay. Um, if you remember, the eastern drain system is made up of two major rivers Wabishavari River Basin and Gernali River Basin. What about this one? Whereas the western drain system is made up of, uh, I mean, by four major rivers. 
Takazi Ariba, that, that till now he knows that part of Ethiopia, particularly the Tigrayan Plateau, and he knows Central Massif, including the Golden and the Wondo uh, Islands. Abai River, Abai Basin, that till now part of Gwenja, part of Romia, part of Belgian uh, uh, Gulf. Regional state. Don't forget the Baru and Akobo, originated from the western part of Ethiopia. Okay. These rivers together and, and uh, individually made the western drain system. What about the western drain system? Which rivers together and or individually um, form this system? This is a very important question. Our stream basin is one of okay, a river basin or a drainage basin that that's part of the western region. From which highland region this river is stemmed from, originated from? These are uh, questions related to the western region system. In fact, our river basin is the only major river basin, not the only drainage basin, but the only major river basin. That means there are okay, smaller rivers, in fact, in this uh, basin. But the major one, uh, as our river basin, that flows nearly more than 1,000 kilometers, um, covering nearly 100. 14,000 square kilometers, okay, total catchment uh, area, and has an average uh, annual discharge, discharge of nearly 5 billion meter cube, okay, crossing many parts of um, Romia, many parts of Amhara, Afal, Somali, Dridawa, um, including our, our center at this hour. በተመረት ከፍ ብሎ መብረር ይቻላል ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ከከፍተኛ ትምርት አግባብነት እና ጥራት ኤጀንሲ ሙሉ ቅናን ባገኘንባቸው በማስተርስ ዲግሪ MBA በስትራቴጂክ ማኔጅመንት MBA በባንኪንግ እና ፋይናንስ MBA በቢዝነስ ሊደርሺፕ MBA በሪስክ እና ኢንሹራንስ MSc በኢንተርናሽናል ትሬድ እና ኢኮኖሚክስ ዘርፎች በእውቀት ለመቅረጽ ይበቁ ፕሮፌሰሮቻችን አረንጓዴ መብራታቸውን አብርተዋል በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራስዎንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልመውን አሁን ያደርጋል in total and in total uh, hills um, are considered as the sources of uh, uh, flood to, to this river. Okay. As it, you can imagine uh, the total distance that this river uh, is visiting. Okay. This river visits part of Amhara, Alomia, Afar, okay. nearly six regions. Okay. Um, as a result of this journey, okay, that cross many parts of uh, many regions of Ethiopia, our river is the most utilized river in Ethiopia. The most utilized. Our is used by residents of Amhara, residents of Polonia, you can imagine, uh, residents of Dreda, residents of Addis Ababa, in different purposes, Narki, Somali. Not only, but also our crosses the desert parts of Ethiopia, the eastern um, desert, we can imagine. As a result of this, uh, our river is considered as an inland river business in Ethiopia, inland. Because at the end of the day, our river ends up or empties itself somewhere else. 
without showing clear destination, Awash lose its its uh, water volume. This is mainly because Awash is highly influenced by many farmers and urban residents of Amhara when they have some money, you can imagine Rida and the Sarama. Awash is highly influenced by uh, for, for, for irrigation purposes. Okay, in different parts of uh, Ethiopia. The remaining volume of water, particularly in its lower part, Awash has forced it to flow northeast part of, of uh, the Rift Valley region and forced it to cross okay, the desert part of Ethiopia, where evaporation is very high, um, so on and so forth. As a result, the final and ultimate in the point destination and mouth of um, Awash is somewhere else in the marshy and desert area of Ethiopia in uh, uh, unlike other events. There is no well defined mouth for Awash. If you remember the mouth of Wabi Shabale, the mouth of uh, Denali. Uh, in fact, the mouth of Denali is the ocean, Indian Ocean. And Wabi Shabale crosses several desert parts of Ethiopia and Somalia. And as the end of the day, if it is itself is the desert and sandy parts of Somalia, closer to uh, in the very near distance from uh, the Indian Ocean. Um, as a western parts of uh, western rail systems, okay, supply flow to the, the oceans, but here Awash uh, ends itself without having clear uh, mouth. But don't forget, this river is something unique because the river is most utilized river in. Ethiopia, the most utilized. Even more than other rivers, this river provides unique significance to the community for different purposes, okay, for irrigation purposes. Because of what? Because um, the leaf structure is very suitable for irrigation purposes, for drinking, so on and so forth. Um, it crosses along a very level, plainy grounds of Ethiopia, horizontal grounds of Ethiopia. Uh, but other rivers like um, Abai is not as such, uh, providing service to, to uh, the residents because of the early structure, because of the slope uh, of the sides of the river, which is very deep gorge. The second drainage system of this, uh, um, I mean, drainage basin of this system is the upfall drainage system. Don't forget the natural uh, structure of the upfall triangle and uh, uh, that part of the left part, okay? Don't forget. Uh, which is, I mean, that part of the Rift Valley experiences a very extremely high um, amount of temperature almost throughout the year. Uh, do I expect as such uh, sufficient rainfall or uh, that much significant volume of water flowing water uh, on, that, on that particular region? As a result, the Alfabri Basin has no practically visible flowing river. There is no that much um, visible flowing river. Even during the rainy season, okay? during the summer season, no more um, significant flood volume on that, on that part of the basin. Because 
the region is characterized by uh, little rain, characterized by very high temperature and very high evaporation. Because of this, natural uh, characteristics, there is no well defined and well visible and significant volume of rain water along that region. But don't forget, there are um, lakes uh, that, that permanently accumulate similar volume of water like Lake Afrola and um, other smaller surface water along that region. The other drainage basin or river basin of that region is the southern part of the Rift Valley subregion or the lakes drainage basin. Okay. As you all remember, this part of the Rift Valley uh, has a relief structure of about uh, I mean, up to 2,000 meters above sea level. Uh, which is also called uh, the mountainous part of the rest of the region, the mountainous part, because only the lakes region has higher ground of about um, 2,000 meters above sea level. Okay, don't forget that. Because of that, uh, that natural uh, relief structure, and mountainous section of the rest of the region, the region receives better the volume of water than uh, the Afan triangle or the Afan drainage basin. As a result, there are flowing streams uh, that supply flood to um, and result some bigger rivers and supply flood to the existing lakes. Okay. Um, as a result, the region has many lakes dotted along um, and found within a near distance, one from the other. Don't forget um, Lake Apa, Lake Tamu, Lake Zuai, um, and others uh, which are found and which are part of this region. Having this general classification and characters of uh, each drainage system, the Rift Valley drainage system, the Eastern drainage system, and the Western drainage system, now let's look at the overall water resources of the country. Water resources. The potential and actual use of the existing water resources. As you all know, Ethiopia has diverse water resources, as we have said several times here in this class. Uh, Ethiopia has many lakes, okay, of a different volume of water and different um, size. From the biggest river and the longest river, River Abba, up to a very smaller uh, volume of uh, water, Ethiopia has many rivers. Ethiopia has also many lakes. Ethiopia has lakes like natural lakes. Ethiopia has also uh, man made lakes or anthropogenic lakes made by uh, people artificial, artificially. Uh, Ethiopia has Natural lakes like Rift Valley lakes, which are found along the Rift Valley region. Ethiopia has also cratered lakes, uh, lakes that are accumulated along the apex part of uh, uh, mountains and high rising grounds. A crater lake. Ethiopia has also highland lakes. Okay, but the question is not the availability of uh, uh, this kind of 
water resource in the form of river, in the form of lakes, whether it's natural or not artificial. The question is to what level Ethiopia is exploiting um, its rivers. ليونت مفتر علامة شنو علامة كف توداداري مونا لباتشو يا ناشنال ايرويز ايد كوبانيا ناشنال افيشن كوليج تراتنا درجاون يتبقى سلطنا بمستت بكو زيغا يافرانو بفلايت اوبريشن ببر رامس تنقدو بتكيتنج نا ريزرويشن بوتيل نا توريزم مويوش اسلطنا توداداري نا درقو تالن كوليج اتشن كانادا كمي دنيو انترناشنال ايير ترانسبورت اسوسيشن اياتانا كانجليزو اي سي ام مغار بمتبابر علامة كفو كنا يالو سلطنا يسطا يجن በፍላይት ኦፕሬሽን በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ ቅና አለ አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስዶ መንገድ ላይ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ ኤድ ኩባንያ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ ህልሞን እሁን ያደርጋል